Today we're celebrating 40 years of the City of Boston archaeology program and cutting the ribbon on a brand new archaeology lab right here at the City Archives. The archaeology lab had been closed for three years, but it is now back open to the public and in a brand new space. The City of Boston Archival Center in West Roxbury, offering the opportunity to see and learn from Boston's past. This new facility boasts state of the art labs and equipment, a research library, museum exhibit spaces. The facility has a repository of over 1 million artifacts from dozens of ancient and historical sites in Boston, and many of the items are on exhibit. One of the many cool things about the archaeology lab is that some of the artifacts you can touch. For example, this is part of a toothbrush made from bone. This was used back in the 1700s. In addition to the artifacts you can touch, many items have been scanned and 3D images like this copper alloy coin can be viewed online and even printed at home if you have a 3D printer or printed in the lab if you don't. This coin was minted in 1788 by the state of Massachusetts and unearthed nearly 200 years later during an archaeological dig on Boston Common. This is our first plumbing. The city's collection also includes these wooden pipes from the late 1700s to early 1800s. Why was wood used? Wood was really the best option at the time for creating long tubes, essentially. So these are all hollowed logs. They, when they went into the ground, the water that flowed through them actually helped preserve them. Our history isn't just one thing, it's many layers of pieces. Some of it we're proud of, some of it we need to wrestle with. But if we don't know it, we can't learn from and grow from it. In West Roxbury, Todd Kiskevich, WCVB News Center 5.